Hello, fellow questers. It is I, Aaron the Questor. So today I have this awesome, great fantasy book right here for you guys. The Books of Beginning, Book One: The Emerald Atlas by John Stephens, the New York Times bestseller. An ancient book, an enchanted world, and a journey through time. I love this book because as soon as you start it, you know that this is gonna be a thrilling ride of a book. Why? Because it starts with a thrilling chase. Kate is about four, and it's Christmas Eve, and her mother tells her that she, that no matter what, take care of Emma and Michael. Her little siblings, her younger siblings, and her mother and father disappear, and an old man put them in the back of his car, and uses magic to teleport them elsewhere. Now, right then, that old man says he is coming. Very scary. Very. It's. It makes you think. Who is this? He. What is going to happen? You can make a hundred predictions in your mind. It shows you that the author is a very skillful one, and this book is never gonna leave leave you out of the throne. And and it goes back ten years into the future, where the three siblings. Kate, the oldest; Michael, the next oldest; and Emma, the youngest. They are living in an orphanage with a horrible Miss Crumbly, who is the head of the orphanage and also very horrible and very annoying. And she wants to send them away, especially after that encounter with a lady who was going to adopt them. Then they got adopted, and they were sent to Cambridge Falls, and Cambridge Falls. Was where magic lived together with humans, but something terrible had happened at Cambridge Falls, and a very long time ago too. And that time ago was before they were even born. What had happened? What was going on? Cambridge Falls was a mysterious place. Because the new orphanage that they were sent to had great food, a、uh, annoying housekeeper, but with a sweet-minded, um, very warm-minded granny. Nothing was an Abraham, an old crippled photographer. And they say that they are the only ones in the orphanage, and also that it is run by a man named Stantless Pym. Very interesting. That's a clue. You need to put it in your pocket. And later on, the kids they find an enchanted book, the An Atlas, and they put the photo into the atlas, and they are transported back into time. Back in time, they meet the Countess, a terrible witch, and the servant of him, of him. Hmm. You connect that with the prologue, right? He is coming. He is the servant of him. Interesting, isn't it? The countess obviously is very evil, and she is keeping all the children captive, and she is making the men work hard, harder and harder and harder to find something that is hidden, and. An abandoned city of dwarves, and in this book, Emma, Kate, and Em, and Michael, they find out that they are the chosen ones. They are the ones who become the keepers, the books of beginning, the three books that all aspects of reality has been stored in: one for time, one for life, one for death. And the first, the bomo, and the book that the atlas contained—that is the name of the book, or the Emerald Atlas, or the Atlas of Time. 
it contains thyme. And Atlas, mind you guys, if in case you didn't know, is a book that is for maps, charts, and the Atlas is a map of time of all possible past, present, and future webbing through it. The user, the keeper of the book, can move through time, manipulate time, stop times, change time by his or her will. And Kate, the first P, the mysterious little Shirley, they can, can the siblings, our dear mysterious siblings, find the book before the Countess does, because if so, the world ends. And could they make friends with the dwarf, escape from dwarf prison, and fight an army of ghouls? Well, read this book to find out. And it's a great book, guys. And the thing is, you don't really find time travel in fantasy. That's more like sci-fi. I mean, who hasn't seen time travel in sci-fi? That's impossible. But fantasy was time traveling. A welcome mix, don't you think? And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester.